Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are swatching, trying on, and ranking the four new shades in the Victoria Beckham Beauty Posh Lipsticks. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. And I picked up four of them. They did come in a box, but I've already taken them out of the box. Really classic packaging. And then the VB is in gold on the top of the cap. This is a shade Fire. This is a shade Spark. Then we have the shade Twist. And then the fourth shade I picked up is in Jump. Let's go ahead and put a look together and try on each one of these shades. Let's go in with the lightest shade first and then we'll build. And I tried to do something neutral so that whatever the lip was, it would go with the look. That's why I put a little bit of warm and then some cool on top of the blush. So it was looking a little bit warm. I've never actually tried this lipstick before. So I'll go ahead and tell you about the lipsticks as I try them on. So this is the shade Twist. We'll try this first. It appears to be the lightest one. It's a light neutral pink. It pairs well with lip definer number two. I did get a lip liner at one point a long time ago. I'm not sure where it is. So we're gonna try it without lip liner first. And this is a real test too of the amount of coverage you get because I do have this outline, a natural outline on my lips and usually I'm neutralizing that with a lip liner to begin with, but I did wanna see how they looked on just directly on. Really creamy formula. And my lips are chapped to begin with today, so I didn't have trouble with this catching on anything in terms of any dry patches. That's a really pretty one. I like that. I thought this might be too cool, but I think it actually works. So if you want something very muted, and it took the color down of my natural lip color a little bit without having to add that lip liner. So I was gonna try it with a lip liner, but I think that these have the opacity that I don't need to do that. So we'll see how it goes. But it says these posh lipsticks are an ultra creamy lipstick with rich color, buttery shine, and light as air wear. So yeah, doesn't feel heavy. The clean nourishing formula is powered by superfood ingredients that provide intense moisturization for supremely healthier, happier, fuller, fuller looking lips. So again, this is the shade Twist. I'm going to remove this and move to the next shade. Yeah, that lip felt really comfortable on as well. And whenever I remove makeup, the actually the natural color of my lips deepens a little bit. So let's go in with the next shade. This one has some warmth to it, it looks like as well. This one is in Spark. And I think this one would be the one, if I was just looking online, that I would select if I was going to pick one. So let's see if it looks good on, as good as it looks in here. Oh yeah, this is a really pretty one. It's like uh, your lips but better color for me. So funny, the last one appears like it's going to be cooler but actually has some warmth to it and this one appeared as though it would be warmer but I feel like it looks a little bit cooler than in the packaging. It definitely evens out my natural tone on my lips and just enhances them I think. 
Let's see, this one is described as a mid-tone warm rose, pairs well with Lip Definer 3. By the way, these are Luxury Performance Clean Beauty, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, hypoallergenic, vegan, gluten-free, and soy-free. And it says to apply a single swipe of posh on lips to hydrate and nourish, reapply for buildable medium coverage. And I went ahead and I applied just a few layers um, just to get the color on. But the next one, I will try one layer and just see how it looks and then we'll build. And then it says apply straight from the bullet and start at the center of your mouth and smooth to the outer corners. For a fuller, more dimensional look, line lips with lip definer. This again is the shade Spark. Okay, next up, we're going to go in with this one, which is Jump. So I'm gonna apply just one layer first and then let's see what happens. Did it say from the center out? I think so. This is definitely cooler. So I noticed that on the swatch. This one, okay. So maybe this isn't the one that I would choose. Really hard to tell though online what these colors really look like. So I hope this is helpful for you. Plus my skin tone is quite warm. So the way this looks on me may not look the same on you based on your warmth or coolness of your skin, but let's go ahead and add more. So we'll see how buildable it is. Very much a purple tone to it, which is not my kind of lipstick. <laughs> yeah, I typically don't choose this color and I think it just doesn't work for me. Again, if you are cool in skin tone, this might look really great on you. Or if you like this tone, at least I could show it to you on my skin tone if you're interested. This one is the shade Jump Mid-Tone Cool Rose. So it's definitely cool. Pairs well with Lip Definer 3. It also says these lipsticks are packed with nutrient-rich natural oils and soft protective waxes. A single swipe of posh lipstick hydrates and nourishes lips while providing rich, impactful color with buttery shine. I do like the overall feel and finish of these on initial impression. Again. This is Jump. And this is interesting because I think my actual lip shade is quite cool, but I've just, against my skin tone, I prefer something with a little bit more warmth. Yeah, it's actually like a cooler version of my natural lip color. And you can see here, it's like a berry shade, like a blueberry kind of berry. <laughs> okay, now this one, is really vibrant. So I'm very curious how this is going to look on. Let's do one swipe and then let's build. So this is a shade Fire. Definitely warm. So you can see how cool my lip color is. I think there might be some residual color from the lip color, but yeah, it's definitely a cooler natural lip color for me. So that's one swipe of fire. I can see building this is gonna look really pretty. This might be one I would want to put a lip liner though. There it is, multiple layers, no lip liner. But do you see there's like an exterior lining? I wanna neutralize my um, natural lip liner <laughs> that I have. So I'm gonna go in with Natural by Chantecaille because it's a really great neutralizing lip liner for me that I know works. Let me remove this. I'll add the lip liner and then we'll apply this lipstick one more time. Okay, so I've got Chantecaille's Lip Liner in Natural, probably my favorite lip liner. So, neutralize that. Let's go in back with Fire again. And this is the lip that really made me think I needed to stay neutral with the eyes as well as the cheek because I knew this would be quite the statement lip. I do think it worked better with the lip liner underneath for this particular shade. I don't think I needed it for the other shades, but definitely for this one. Fire is described as a blazing red orange. Definitely more orange than anything else, I think. It's an orange lip on me. Um, there's a little bit of red, but mostly like a beautiful tangerine shade. For ingredient technology, it says here, Posh Lipstick is powered by ultra nourishing, supremely clean, 
plant-based superfood ingredients that gently plump and baby your lips. Rose Flower Wax, this highly nourishing wax protects against environmental aggressors and helps retain moisture in lips. It also has natural wax blend. They create a comfortable cushiony texture and locks in moisture. There's an oil blend of rosehip, coconut, and avocado oil providing intense moisturization, nourishment, and shine while also helping to renew and heal chapped lips, which after trying on four of them, since my chaps, my chaps, <laughs> my lips were chapped to begin with, um, sometimes it'll be really chapped when I'm done trying lipsticks, but this is really hydrating, so very nice. Pomegranate Jojoba Complex smooths and plumps lip lines. Let me see, does it plump lip lines? Um, I don't know if I see any like real plumping effect, but they're definitely not more lined. Some lipsticks can create more exaggerated lines. This one doesn't do that. So my thoughts on these lipsticks, I've never tried them before. One of the reasons I never tried any of these is because I wasn't attracted to any of the shades. But when I saw these four pop up, I thought, Actually, all of them look really interesting, so I thought I'd pick them up. I really like the formula, nice and creamy, hydrating. I haven't worn them for an extended amount of time yet though, so I will definitely be testing that out for you, giving you an update later on in the month. So I'll be pairing these with looks as well. So I did wanna try something neutral today just to go with most of the shades. So I think this worked out pretty well. Um, I did wanna rank the shades for you though. So I think, Starting from my least favorite shade, I think it was pretty obvious which one it was. It's this one in Jump. It just is too cool for me. It's a very, I think, specific look or a specific aesthetic that you're going for. I typically avoid anything with too much blue or purple in the lip just because I am so warm toned. But if you are cool toned and looking for something like this or if you are warm toned, and you like this kind of shade, it's a pretty one. It applied really nicely, it just wasn't to my taste in terms of the shade. Going up to my more favorite, now I have a couple of things I'm thinking of here. Let me see, I'm looking at them right now because I did like all three of the other shades. So these are ones I would happily wear and will integrate into various looks. This first one in Jump, though I will be surprised if I wear this one again in another video. So these three are very, very close in terms of um, preference for color. And I'm going to choose this one, Twist. So I debated on pushing this up further because it's difficult to find lighter colored lipsticks that will cancel out that exterior color and apply evenly, but this does it. This does a really nice job. So it has some warmth as well. I don't know, this one might move up in ranking the more I use it. So this will depend on how often I pull for this. But this is a beautiful one in case you are warm toned and you have pigment to your lips like me and you're looking for something a little bit lighter than your actual lip color. I think it looks really beautiful with a smoky eye or if you are just unsure of the lip because you have some other statement thing happening, whether it's the cheek or the eye or something else, I think this is a pretty one. So. This is a little bit harder to find. And then I would go with this fire shade. I love a bright lip. Um, sometimes though, orangey type lip colors can be difficult even though I'm warm. Sometimes they come across as neon and not as classic as I would like, but this is like a classic orangey warm shade. So if you're looking for something bright yet classic, and not a cool toned red. This is a beautiful orangey with red tones in it, lip shade. I prefer it with the lip liner though. That's how it worked best. It didn't really work as well without the lip liner, but a very beautiful, also kind of difficult shade I think to find. And then the first one of course is going to be Spark. This is like a Your Lips But Better color, which is the kind of shade that I use the most. Uh, I just pull for them. They're easier for me to wear. They even out my skin tone. Goes with anything pretty much because it's my natural coloring. So uh, this would be my first choice. If you're going to pick any of these up and you are similar to my skin tone, I hope that helped in terms of ranking. Overall, I'm very pleased with the formula. I look forward to trying these on with other looks along the way. Let me know if you picked up any of the shades or if you're thinking about them, I'd love to know. And let me know what else I should be 
should be picking up from Victoria Beckham. I'm looking at the bronzer. I know I missed that one. I have a couple of the eyeshadow palettes, as you can see. Let me know what else is great. But that's it for today's video, so please take care of each other. Stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.